Howdy everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Turismo 2. This is Sky Hurricane 89 and hope you're doing well. And in the last part we did the Muscle Car Cup with the Corvette Stingray 67 and uh, oh man it proved to, it really really served us quite well and oh it's just such a beautiful car to me you know just my opinion. But uh, we also won three cool cars for doing all those and now we are going to get into one of those cars. I'm going to get into the PT Spider and I'm actually going to do the mid-engine rear wheel drive cup with that. So uh, we actually probably will do a pretty good state of tuning to this in order to be able to compete. Because uh, the final stage actually is 591 horsepower, but I think the first first stage is only I don't know what special models are on this. Yeah, just this. They actually count that as a special model. You can't buy them. But uh, there is no racing modification either. I don't think. But I really don't want to spend too much on this. So, I think I'm just going to stick with like the racing soft. If I was going to do a whole lot with this, uh, I'd probably go with, you know, I'd do the suspension and lower the ride height and change the springs and all that. But uh, really, I want to kind of conserve my money so that I don't really have to spend extra time farming. Because we will have to tune up several cars. But for the time being, we really don't want to exceed 295 horsepower. You know, in all honesty, since I am doing so much with this, I might as well uh, go ahead and get everything for it. Like a wheel head. Hey, I'm entitled to change my mind. <laughs> but what about saving money, Sky? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I do know what I'm doing, y'all. Uh, golly, I played this game so much. Should know what I'm doing, by golly. Get yeah, some sports brakes. Not gonna really upgrade the power any for right now, but I'm gonna get weight reduction that I kind of bypassed earlier. Even though it probably will not change it too much. For some reason, weight reduction doesn't have as much of an effect in this game as it does in Gran Turismo 1. I mean, you could, like, a car like the DB7 Coupe, by the time you do all the weight reductions and get the racing modification, you can get it down from, like, 4,000 pounds down to under 3,000. In this game, it might go down to, like, 3,500. I don't think I'm going to get racing transmission. Because we're not going to really be doing too much with this. We're going to be doing enough, but not too much. I really don't think this will tune up very much, in all honesty. Like, I don't think it's going to get up to like 600 horsepower or even 400 for that matter. I might be wrong. You know what, I'm not going to get that. Now, right, let's go ahead and get into our first race. And then we shall be going back. Yeah, we're not doing these in any particular order. Oh, I could actually get it to 345. Ooh. I might be a little bit underpowered for this. Quite a bit less than I was expecting. But uh, we can use our handling to our advantage. That's what I expect to do. So, while well, they actually have the rear quite a bit higher, let's do this. Uh, let's make that 11.5 and... I actually don't want the rear to be too high. I'm going to just make it 12. How about 12.1? Yeah, just 12. And this shouldn't oversteer quite as vigorously as that Corvette did. But uh, I might be mistaken as well. What does this have? Like 240 horsepower? So we're like 100 horsepower under the the limit. Racing, racing the Lancia Stratus, a Toyota MR2, a Lotus Elise. 
which will probably have similar horsepower to this, but be much lighter. And we're actually out accelerating it. I don't imagine these are really tuned up too much. Toyota MRS. Yeah, even if you tune that to the max, it's not going to break 300 horsepower, I don't think. This is a pretty cool little car. I've never really been a big fan of Plymouths. I like some of them, you know, like Plymouths and Dodges. And Chryslers, they're all pretty similar. I do like some of them, you know. And wow, I, I cannot drive in this mode, y'all. I'm so sorry. I just simply cannot. I'll try again. does handle quite nicely, I gotta say. Thing about uh, lowering the ride height is it lowers your center of gravity, thus uh, for the car, thus increasing aerodynamics and helps you really helps you corner better. Similar to a downforce wheel. Wow, uh, we kind of were sucking and then now we're just pulling away. Yeah, David Galway, you can definitely tell the power dif difference between this and that Corvette. But uh, this will this will become stage three in a tune should really uh, help this quite a bit. It's a Red Rock Valley. We should be rocking and rolling. Yeah, if you do turn too hard in it, oh wow, wow. Whoa. Just as I was saying that, the Stratus has caught up to me. I guess it's not too much of an insult as we don't have near the power we could. I have a feeling even tuned to the max, this probably wouldn't. Oh wow, car, no! You can't do this to me. On the last corner, really? Y'all, I'm going to lose this for this race. This is freaking tragic. I can't believe it. All because this car wanted to take a nice little spin. Oh my, y'all, that was horrible. I do not like this car anymore, even though it's not really the car's fault. Ooh. That sucks. Got beat by a freaking MRS. Oh, that was an MR2G Limited. That was a slower version. Well, that was our third race. It's kind of ironic. Every race that I've lost has been because of a convertible that wants to spin out. Hot debate. No, I don't want to save. I'm ticked. Golly, I was killing them, and then on the last lap, you decide to spin out twice. Really? Come on, now. Yeah, we're going to be changing that uh, suspension a little bit. And we are going to win this race. It's the last daggum thing we do. Shall not be defeated. Oh, that just really, ugh. Ugh. Let's make this... 10.8. That should make quite a difference there in its desire to oversteer. Having the front stronger will make it understeer or more st stable, which is what we want. Good lord. No red cars. That's nice. I don't like red. No offense if you like red. I just don't like it. Oh, lay that sucked. Man, I can't get over it. Mm. We have two MGFs. I don't know why they picked the same car. But they sent, they do. One interesting thing to note is on Gran Turismo 1, it seemed like they went through special efforts to make sure that uh, they always would have a red car in the championship. Except for the course of GT World when you have all the racing modifications. You would uh, possibly not see a red car. This thing still wants to spin out. Oh my golly. 
I may have to increase the springs even more on the front. It's all right. We're gonna win this time. Mm -mm. Can't believe that happened to me. Can't believe I did that. I mean, yeah, I was killing them just like I am right now, <laughs> and then that happened. Oh, tragedies do happen. Yeah, this thing, oh my goodness, man, it's just, it's way too eager to oversteer. I was actually expecting it to understeer having a mid-engine roll drive. Um, but uh, it, some mid-engine roll drive cars like the uh, Toyota MR2 really love to un oversteer. But a lot of mid-engine roll drives, like uh, especially the race cars, they uh, will understeer. I just don't know. Yep, you're wanting to do it again, car. You're wanting to do it again. Oh, how dare you. But I shall control you better this time. Oh, <sighs> golly. Toyota MRS. Golly, that MRS did really well. The lace was right behind it, though. <laughs> Alrighty, well, having to redo that kind of cost us a little more time. Now we're going to see if we can't get this a little more power. And of course, now's where we're going to sink in the real money into it. The N18. Especially if you can get stage 3, that's going to be very costly. So, 493. I don't think we have to worry about going above that. Now let's see here. I don't think we have to worry about exceeding that. Oh, Plymouth, how dare you hate me so much. I guess that's what it was when I said I didn't like Plymouth too much. That I wasn't a big fan of them. He heard me. Yeah, we already got that. Yeah, I just don't think this is going to be a big horsepower producer. Oh, oh, golly, oh. I didn't think, I thought it would at least, oh, golly, oh, we might not be able to win. Well, I guess uh, I guess we could have a challenge, couldn't we? But 591 horsepower and may only having like 250. Ooh. Yeah, this I'm definitely not a fan of this car now. <laughs> I seriously thought it would. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything big out of it, but I was expecting at least 300. Oh boy, let's we'll see what we can do. Golly, dare I even try this? Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I am going to increase the front springs a little more. For sure, because I don't want it to end up spinning out, because then we'll definitely be screwed. Inevitably. So let's increase the front to 14. I know that's quite substantial. Oh my, we have like 250 horsepower. And they can have like 490. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this could be a challenging race. This could be a very challenging race. This thing is not going to have the straight line speed. Although we're keeping up with them quite nicely. It is lightweight, so that's a saving grace. That's probably the MR2 GTS there. And you still want to spin out, you piece of junk. Golly, seriously? I probably should have got the AS 
Oh my god, y'all. I don't like this car. I don't like it. On high speed ring, I'm spinning out. And I'm already underpowered, so there's like, well, eight seconds behind. It wants to freaking oversteer on every little corner. Oh my gosh. This, trying this car was not a good idea at all. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just, I can't do it. Might have possibly been able to win had I not spun out, but uh, it's just uncontrollable. It wants to, it wants to spin. And now they're leaving me because they have double the horsepower. I mean, even on a high speed corner, it has no aerodynamics at all. I mean, yeah, I'm not even going to try to finish. <sighs> Failed utterly. Spent all that money on this car to fail. Lose two races. Piece of freaking junk. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Our win ratio went down to 91%. Sucks. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Well, I could use a concept car. I guarantee, you know what? I ain't even gonna do any more tuning to this. This concept car has just as much horsepower. And uh, it's classified as MR, so. Oh, we did win a TRD 2000 GT. Golly, this thing sucks, man. Oh. No offense if you're a big fan of it. Oh, it's actually heavier than the concept car. Shoot. Come on, concept car. Let's do this. We don't have racing suspension or anything on you, but I have faith in you. We can do it. <laughs> oh, y'all. I... Ugh. This man... What a freaking shame. And I could have won, but... And I figure increasing the front springs would have... And I know I could. I mean, I could I could keep playing with the settings, and I could buy the ASC oversteer and all that stuff, but it, yeah, it's just not worth it. It's not. Don't hate me too much for not liking that car. I just, I just don't... We're gonna be underpowered here, but uh, but uh, I think because I can actually control this car, that that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm hoping. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can do this. <laughs> Two MR2s. Come here, Lotus Elise. The Elise actually has... The Elise really won't tune up to a high amount of power, but it's like half the weight of this. <laughs> I mean... You no, know, not half the weight. It's probably around 1,500 kilograms. Or 1,500 pounds. Well, I really didn't out-corner it there. I'm really going to have to draft here in order to not let it get away too much. Come on, concept car, you can do it. Golly, that lace is booking it, my goodness. Yeah, the concept car, similar to the, uh, the Plymouth PT Spider, it will not tune up very high. But I think, but it actually does better in this game than it did in Gran Turismo 1. I think it'll get close to 300 horsepower. We're fixing to see because I think I am going to upgrade it a little. I think it's earned an upgrade as much as, as many races as it's won for us. I think it deserves an upgrade. Oh, Plymouth PT Spider, how dare you hate me so. I actually was trying to give you a chance. Oh, 
All right, we won that. wasn't too hard. Could have won it with the Plymouth had I not over had it not just wanted to oversteer so intensely. Very close race. That's actually an interesting race. Unlike the past ones that we've been doing that have been too easy. New car acquired. Well, well. Now I'm going to tune this up a little bit. This video's gonna be a lot longer than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting the fail that we've had. I want to see line up. Not yet. Let's see here. what kind of power. I'm sure I put a muffler on these. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Whoa. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's kind of expensive, but uh. And we really probably won't need it because the AI do kind of suck on Red Rock Valley. Okay, I already got that as well. So this actually get probably around 350 horsepower, a little more. Which uh, in the original game, it only got to 249. So yeah, I already got that as well. All right, let's do this. We can take them on. We can take on those 591 horsepower big boys I'm sure of it I'm just so disappointed in myself y'all I really am I failed failed ah oh, well nothing can be perfect oh wow they actually got the Vector M12 in this it's so cool I love that car one of my favorites You know, I could have bought it and entered it into this. And I would love to use that car at some point. And I may, you know, if I have enough garage space at the, towards the end. Uh, you can definitely tell they're still overpowered compared to me. However, I think because they suck so bad at cornering that we should still be able to prevail on this. What is that? What's that black car in front of me? Oh, golly, they had three vectors in this race. Oh, wow. They even have the Wiger vector. vector. Wiger, Wiger, I don't know how you say it. It starts out with more than 590 horsepower, so it shouldn't even be able to get into this. But there are some races where the AI will actually enter cars that should not be able to get in it. Yeah, they'll do that. It's not fair. Because they won't let you enter a car like that. But uh, they can do it. They could have all gone better, I figure. Now they're going to gain on me because they have 200 more horsepower than I do. Plus some. But we're sure trying, aren't we, concept car? We're sure trying. This thing has a much better stability than that Plymouth. Golly, that green card just, wow, it took over, didn't it? I noticed they had an Elise Motorsport in here also. I don't know why I keep going over there. I keep trying to go too fast on that chicane. Which is not a good thing to do. <laughs> Golly, that green one's getting it. Mm. 
It seems like understeer is definitely more of a problem with this car than oversteer is. But that's fine, you know, it's, I mean, it doesn't, it's not bad at understeer. So the Lotus Motorsport Elise beat all those vectors in that Venturi. <laughs> W8 twin turbo, which has more than 600 horsepower, was able to enter this race. But it still got fit. All those vectors are so beautiful. That might be one of my favorite cars in this game. It really very well might be. Kind of based off the Lamborghini Diablo, I believe. Nice, just a really nice car. The poor Venturi, it started out first and man, it went down, didn't it? Yeah, this is an example of a mid engine rear wheel drive car that understeers more than it oversteers. It's very stable. <laughs> Look at me running off the road like an idiot. Well, my friends, that is gonna pretty much be all we do in this part we can go and see what we won see if we want anything cool we will gradually bring back up our win ratio which 91% ain't bad Freaking plenty of pity spider. Ugh. I would sell you if I didn't spend so much on you. Oh, and look. Oh, my goodness, y'all. We want some cool stuff here. TRD 2000 GT. I really do like this car. It's kind of like the MR2 GTS, but I don't think there's a manufacturer race we could use it in. I'll keep it for now, but it might end up being something that I sell. Probably will end up being, because there's really not much you can do with it. What does it say on the information? It's out of curiosity. It will actually tell us. Several MR2 versions have been seen in the GT300 class, all Jap Japan championships. Based on the MR2, but the style has been modified so dramatically to meet the tough challenges of circuit racing that it's hard to recognize the conventional MR2 body it evolved from. Now, I can definitely see it. Model with tuning based on the mass market racing aero cow the thing about the toyota mr2 gts in a gran turismo one is it would oversteer when you tune it up it will oversteer so i mean it's almost like that plymouth pt spider it was just nearly uncontrollable you know with uh modifying the aerodynamics and the uh, suspension stuff you can control it but uh it's difficult. Of course, new common extra wide body. In addition, the sides are doing side skirts and a large new rear wing has been fitted onto the rear. Although the impressive look of the car is little in common with the ordinary MR2, the mechanical components in the TRD 2000 GT are almost exactly the same. They race the GT. But this TRD model has a style all of its own inside and out. And TRD brand parts can be freely added not only to the chassis and brake system, but to the engine that drives trained as well. Performance parts can be added to the, to suit the skill level of the driver. Okay. <laughs> Tom's 1020. What is this? Oh, this is, a, this is similar to the... I think this is a non-turbo charged version, similar to a uh, similar to uh, the TRD 2000 GT. And I'm not gonna read over this, but you can if you wish. This might be a. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually gonna sell this and I like it. I love the MR2s, but it's don't really see me using it for much. But now the GT40 race car, oh yes. This one uh pretty pretty nice. 
can see the information on this. Oh, it won't tell me. It won't tell me the information. Well, they do have a base GT40. And that's probably where you'll read the information for on them. But let's organize these. Let's put this up with our Toyotas. Our only Toyota we have is the GT1 race car. Okay, and let's... Yeah, we can leave that after. We can have... Eh. Yeah, let's have Ford before Shelby. Alrighty, y'all. So we're going to stop right here. I want to thank y'all very much for watching. And let's look at our win-loss ratio again. With some more, sadly. Uh, we can get it back up. Four races ain't too bad. Had a 47. And we're at 17% complete. We're getting there. So I want to thank y'all very much for watching. Sky Hurricane 89 signing out. Have a super awesome, blessed day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.